critical life skills so that they're able to be there digitally literate, they're financially literate, they are also legally literate. They are able to take care of their health. They are literate so that they are able to take care of their families, their children, and also other such skills so that they are able to bring about well-being in the community, in their homes, in their community, and their lives. The next one is vocational education. So this national India, new India literacy policy, another objective is vocational education. Through this program, we will be imparting vocational skills to the non-literary so that they will be employable, so that they will be able to take up enterprises. The other one is basic education for those who would like to about basic education and also continuing education. The elementary education and continuing education if they, are, they want to pursue higher education. So these are the basic, the primary objectives of the NIRP. Well, having said that, this mandate will be on us, the master trainers. You are also aware that Government of India had initiated, launched various programs to literate its population starting from 1951. Various programs by various means. I would not be citing all of them. In 1988, you had the National Literacy Program mission. Then you had the uh, Shakhtar Bharat in 2009. Latest was the, the Patna Likha Abhiyan in 2021, and now we have the new India Literacy Program. And all these missions, these programs were to make the people literate, but we still have about 8 crore people, more than 8 crore people, who are non literate, pain, and literate, and make literate a non literate population. The honors on the master trainers. The mandate on the master trainers. It's huge. But I know that and I'm confident that if we, are, if we sincerely work, if we are motivated and able to motivate the others, if we are innovative, if we are ingenious, we will definitely be able to make our population literate. So with this few words, I wish all of you a very engaging and productive workshop training program. I'm grateful to the resource persons who are there here with us this morning. They are highly techni technically qualified. Hope we all have gained something out of it by attending this program this morning. Now, I shall give time to morning. Uh, at the outset, I'd, I'd like to thank all our, uh, our resource persons from Delhi for flying in and helping us have this program there. So uh, your insights and, and your experience is going to be uh, very beneficial for, for colleagues from the districts of Mona and Kifre who have turned up for the program. Uh, I'd also like to thank our uh, Commission Secretary, ma'am, ma your unflinching uh, uh, support and your commitment, your leadership has been something that's a source of inspiration for all of us in the department, ma'am. Thank you so much for coming in and, and enlightening all of us about uh, about the various components of NILP and how how you know we, we plan to implement the program in our state. Um, you know, more than a to start with, and then uh, the rest of the state, uh, depending on on, on the need. Uh, to all our uh, guests from uh, Tripura and uh, Meghalaya, thank you so much uh, again for coming in and. Your insights, your experience in implementing this program would be of great help for, for us here in Nagaland as we uh, set out to implement uh, NILP uh, in the two districts. So that we can handle any situation in the grassroots and the field along with our non Yeah.
come to that for sure. But before that, I'd like you to have that receptive mood. Mujhe nahi dikh raha hai. I want to say the receptive mood. Ki ha, hume samajhna hai. We want to learn. We want to know what is new Indian literature.